What's up y'all? B-Dub is back. Another anime review. Today's anime, Haganai. I don't have many friends. So, let's get started. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime Death master. Knows, nigga. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. Haganai, I don't have many friends. The anime series, also known as Boku wa Tomodachi ga Sunkanai. So, this anime series, in my personal opinion, was awesome. Let's get started with the characters. Well, first off, let me give you the main plot. I'm jumping the gun here. Anyway, the main plot is about the main character, Kodoka Hasegawa. He's a transfer student at this Catholic school or this private academy, and he is pretty much a, you know, semi-bully in a sense because everybody is afraid of him because of his uh, mixed brown and blonde hair and his very fierce looking threatening eyes and the fact that on his first day of school when he attended he was late and he scared the crap out of the teacher he kind of like you know he, he was pretty much falling out of exhaustion but it looked like he was attacking her and the students just assume he's some kind of delinquent, which was pretty freaking hilarious. So, Kodaka, the main character, runs into Yozada, who is also pretty much socially, you know, awkward. And they, you know, band together and create a neighbor's club. And this neighbor's club is for them to meet friends because they are unable to make friends, period, and want to make some friends, pretty much. That's pretty much the plot of Haganai. I don't have many friends because they don't have any friends. You know what I'm saying? We're going to move on to the main character, like I just talked about a second ago. Yozada Mikazuki. Yozada is a cruel, selfish, black haired chick, man. And she is on bully mode to the highest extent. You know, she's pretty much physically abusive towards, you know, the next main character I'm going to talk about in a second. Yozada was, was, uh, probably like the most funniest character in my opinion for this anime series um moving on to the uh next main character senna kashirazaki now senna is the typical wealthy blonde haired chick uh she is the daughter of the school's head teacher and senna pretty much has you know boys chasing after her but the crazy thing is she can't really make any real friends as well she calls the boys that follows her around her slaves which was just hilarious in a sense i'm like seriously you know what i'm saying but it really but it really um wasn't that unexpected from her personality and uh, it was pretty hilarious seeing the back and forth bickering and arguments between senna and yozada Especially with uh, Yozada's nickname for Senna, which is Meat, because of her huge breasts. That is the most original way of talking about breasts I have ever seen and, and like heard in an in, in, in anime series. It is just hilarious. Now, moving on to some more uh, extra main characters, I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk about the main club members. Uh, Kopito, who is uh, Kodaka's younger sister, she's very into this anime series. She thinks she's a vampire. She dresses up as you know, this gothic Lolita type, uh, you know, chick. And she has a strong brother complex as well. We also have Yukimura. And Yukimura is one of those trap characters. You think he's a girl, you think he's a boy. I believe he's a boy. But, yeah, he's a trap character. He has this semi thing for Kodaka. When they first meet up, uh, Yukimura, he was on his stalker mode for a little while until they uh, confronted him. And, you know, Yozura using her weird self and controlling manipulative self, she makes Yukimura wear a freaking maid outfit. And it's just, like, ridiculous. It's, like, more trap weirdness in that way. Uh, another main character for the group, uh, the Neighbors Club group, we have Rika. Rika is absolutely insane. She is just hardcore perverted man she really likes those you know yaoi magazines and boy love complexes and shit like that and she's a genius she is a scientific genius and etc but her fucking like obsession of like 
rape and, and, and sex and shit. It, it is just so hilarious to hear that from a female character. Because you see a lot of male characters with these traits in like these type of anime shows. And to see a female character like this who is smart and then but perverted at the same time. I mean over the top perverted. It really does make it very original in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Now this anime series pretty much is about all of them trying to make friends. There was a couple uh pretty much a whole lot of video game references and episodes like referencing Final Fantasy, Monster Hunter, the whole dating sim games that be over there in Japan. And the first few episodes was pretty much just Yozura, Kodaka, and Senna playing these video games trying to make uh you know, trying to learn how to engage people and do, you know, I guess good conversational skills by playing these slice of life uh, dating sim games. Those episodes was absolutely hilarious. And then once we get into the more, you know, deeper episodes, I wouldn't say deep, but like more character driven. So the main premise would have to be them making friends, but also this is a harem series, so there is some fan service and some nudity. But the harem aspect really didn't play the part too hardcore. Like most harem animes, I guess they were trying something different for this series. I'm not mad about that, but it was pretty much the harem, um, I guess, parts of it wasn't really that strong. Besides the fact of the obvious that Kodaka is surrounded by a bunch of girls in various ages and whatnot. But besides that, you know, there was no, you know, fighting over Kodaka or anything like that. Maybe in the second season, I have to watch the second season. Pros and cons. Pros. Great animation. Great character development and unique characters. Cons. Some characters were underdeveloped like Yukimura. And I wish the anime series was a bit longer. Bottom line, Haganai I Don't Have Many Friends was very enjoyable. I really enjoyed this anime series. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's great. It was funny. I loved all the characters. And I can't wait for season 2. Uh, to be brought back out English dubbed. Speaking of the dub, the English dub for this anime series was great. Do not watch the trailer and judge off the uh, voices on the trailer. Watch the whole English dub before you make your decision, people. Come on now, it's ridiculous. The English dub is awesome, in my opinion. Video quality gets a 8 out of 10. Pretty good standard HD Blu-ray release from Funimation. There were some picture issues like some uh, edge enhancement, but besides that, it was pretty decent. Audio gets a 9 out of 10. Pretty damn good Dolby Digital 5.1 and 2.0 stereo uh, English and Japanese tracks. And the box set quality gets a 8 out of 10. Great chipboard Blu-ray box with some pretty nice artwork on the DVD inserts and DVD disc art. So in conclusion check out Haganai I don't have many friends. I'm B Dub the Anime Master. Stay tuned for more anime reviews. Peace. Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master. Here we go.